And we are turning the page today on some summer reading that can provide endless hours of entertainment on a rainy day, or maybe you're just sitting in the park soaking up the sun. From mystery to romance, adventure, and fantasy, books provide the perfect escape from our hectic lives. With a closer look on some books that you definitely want to check out this summer is Jane Bell from B is for Books. Jane, thank you so much for coming here. Thanks for having me on the show. Always and fun to be here. You kind of <laughs> broke it down. You brought some books for adults and young adults that people might want to enjoy this summer. So let's talk about those young adult books. Um, uh, young adult books, this is my favorite summer book, Eleanor and Park. It's one of those, it's a romance, but it's deeper than that. And it's, it's about misfits. Uh, two kids at the beginning of the school year get thrown together on the bus and they sit on the bus together every day. And they've both got a backstory. They've both got uh, some interesting things going on in their lives. So it's about high school. It's about romance. So it's a great book. Um, more for girls, but boys would really love it too. I, I think because there's, there's just general stuff about growing up and coming of age. Now, if you have a teenier household that you want to make sure is continuing to read over the summer, but it's a little burnt out from all of the reading for school, are books that are kind of relatable a little bit more fun the way to go? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about trying to make them read anything too literary or anything like that. Just let them read anything. Uh, I was reading all sorts of you know, great stuff, but also trash when I was you know, 15, 16. And you need that in the summer. You need to just read something fun, something easy, because you know, they have such uh, a lot of reading that they have to do at school. So uh, I wouldn't worry uh, about your kids reading anything that you don't think is like highbrow. Just let them read whatever they want. Whatever they yeah. want. Now, if you're yeah. an adult and you're looking for some great beach reads, or like we said, maybe just yeah. a book to sort of relax in the backyard with, what do yeah. you recommend? Uh, well, these two are my favorites. This is the storied life of AJ Fickrey. It's a great summer read because it's set on an island off the coast of Maine. Uh, the main character is a widower. He's lost his wife uh, he owns a bookstore so I like it anyway um, but also it's so it's it's sort of set in the summer and it's uh, it's got it's one of those islands that has a cast of characters all sorts of strange characters and it, there's a bit of romance there's a thriller there's some, some mystery in it so it's kind of multi-genre um, but just a really well read written book and uh, just fun to sit down and, and and each chapter is kind of a different part of his life so it's just really good to read and who doesn't want to disappear to an island yes, over the summer exactly exactly <laughs> and then another um, one that seems appropriately titled the vacationers the vacationers um, this is uh, a good kind of family intrigue book so it's about a family who goes on vacation to a Spanish island uh, they have a teenage daughter they have a grown-up son and he comes with his girlfriend and they go with a couple of other uh, friends and then it seems like that perfect idyllic vocation but everybody's got some kind of secret that they're keeping from other members you know we're all in families you all have your little secrets and everybody thinks it's going well but there's other stuff going on. So all these things kind of calm out during this two-week vacation. So, so the drama you don't want in your real life, yes. you can enjoy. Yeah, exactly. Now it's fine in someone else's life. We have a little bit of time, and I, you brought so many books. I want to do rapid fire real quick. So if you could just tell me the title and the genre. Summer House with Swimming Pool. This is your summer read that's darker, way, way darker, psychological. So if you want some blood and, and psychology in your summer reading, go for this one. All right, next yeah. up. Uh, Rainbow Rowell, this is... Uh, a sort of romance family, a little bit of magical mystery as well. All right, and the last one we can um, talk about. Love Anthony about uh, two women in Nantucket who become kind of unlikely friends and they're about one has lost uh, an aut autistic son. So it's kind of, uh, it's, it's really interesting. Again, a little bit of uh, intrigue, uh, but mainly about kind of friendship. And for people that want your expertise mm. and your opinions in real life, where can they find views for books? They can find us in the center of Orchard Park Village, 6562 East Quaker Street. And they have uh, some wonderful staff um, who read a lot, and we can, we can recommend something for everybody's taste. And a lot of great options for children, which you'll be back exactly. in the season talking about. Thank I you so much, so. Jane. Thank you.